Hey, what is going on today, guys? Welcome back to the channel and some more Ultimate Golf here, sponsored by Mini Clip and Ultimate Golf. And so I've had a lot of questions on previous videos and on social media about how do we adjust for the wind? And we're talking about basic, basic concepts in this game. If it's your first time ever jumping in and playing Ultimate Golf or playing a mobile golf game for that matter, these are going to be some tips and tricks to help you out to start adjusting for precision in this game and getting more accurate with your shots hopefully help you out in those head-to-head -head matches and in tournaments if you like this video please hit that subscribe button get notified for future videos stick around for more and let's get right into it okay so adjusting for the wind this is basic 101 type of things that we're talking about here if we look at our rings in this game the little circles that are around our target okay these rings are what we use for measuring the wind and then making adjustments for whatever wind that we are having and so if you see here the driver that i'm using on this hole is the highlander we look at the size of the rings the highlander is not a very accurate club and so the size of these rings are going to be massively huge as we go down and we look, for example, at our root. Our root is a much more accurate club. And so the rings are much smaller. Again, looking at the driver, there we can see the size of the rings. Looking at the wood club, the size of the rings. You can see how they drastically change. That's because the accuracy of the clubs that I'm using on this hole are that much different. Okay, so we use the, the size of the rings to help us to accurately adjust for our shots and so if we take a look at the driver here we notice that there are a total of five rings we have the inner ring inner circle then we have a clear circle that's two then we have a another white circle that's three another clear circle on the outside and then the far outside is another white circle so a total of five rings now, when we look at our numbers and trying to start adjusting for our numbers, we look at each ring and we consider each ring as one. So if you see the bottom of my screen here, I'm kind of drawing it out for you. From the bottom of my screen to the edge of the circle there, we consider that to be one ring. Okay, if we go up another, that would be considered two rings so when you hear me talking about making adjustments in this game you're going to see me using the bottom of my screen to kind of use a reference point uh, for pulling these rings and how they work so we have a total of five rings all the way around the target but if we start adjusting we're actually using the outer portion of these rings as one ring there's two rings there's three rings there's four to the very middle of our target there that's going to be considered five rings that we would pull in a wind adjustment okay if we go on up that would be six that would be seven eight nine and a total of ten rings that we could move our target so depending on whatever wind we have we are going to adjust our target pulling downwards or pulling in the opposite direction uh, that the wind is blowing. So if you see here, I've got a 9.7 wind at the top of my um, screen. And what I wanna do when I start adjusting for wind is I wanna point the wind arrow directly north. So the wind arrow is pointing directly north. If I had a headwind, I would flip my screen all the way around and I would adjust back this way now. If it was a headwind, if it was a crosswind, again, I would just point my wind arrow directly north and I would start my adjustments this way. So going back to this particular shot, here I'm gonna use a high flight ball. I have a 9.7 wind. Now, what I'm using to get my wind adjustments is an app, an external app. It's called Guide for Ultimate Golf going to put it up here on the screen this is actually being used on a secondary device that i have so i like to play um, with my phone as kind of my calculator and then i use my ipad to play the game on and so what you're looking at here on the screen now is basically what is on my phone at this time 
so this is called guide for ultimate golf on the guide for ultimate golf you can find it in the app store you can find it on the android store we have a wind calculator when we pull up our wind calculator here we have all of our clubs and i can do another video on explaining and walking you through the wind calculator or you can go check out zach jones channel for ultimate golf he gives a rundown of all tutorials about how to use this app again free to use for everybody you can pay a little bit of a, a subscription in order to get rid of a few of the ads but it's not bad as the free version so here we have all of our clubs and the levels that our clubs are because each club has different accuracies each club has different calculations for um, what we use the wind for so here i have my highlander level four you can see in the game i have a highlander level four we have a 9.7 win so it's very simple to just type in your wind and again basic basic there's a lot of things that go into really dialing in but for beginners this is a great starting point for getting the numbers that you are looking for so here we have a 9.7 wind and here i have three numbers on the top of my screen i have a 3.3 a 3.2 and a 3.1 so if I'm at maximum distance of my Highlander, again, I'm aiming up here at the maximum distance that this Highlander can go. This app and this uh, calculator is telling me with 9.7 wind, I'm going to adjust 3.3 rings. If I was aiming at the bottom, at the minimum distance of my club, here the app is telling me that I would adjust 3.1 rings. And if I was adjusting right here in the middle or aiming right here in the middle of my club, it's telling me to adjust 3.2 rings. Get rid of the window capture. So again, if I did not adjust, I would be landing up here somewhere because of the wind push. So I'm going to make an adjustment. 9.7 miles per hour wind gives me 3.3 rings. So I'm just going to count. Again, point my target, point my wind arrow directly north, and I'm going to count rings. So there's one ring using the bottom of my screen there's two rings there's three and there's point three so now i know when i take this shot if i hit the ultimate shot i'm gonna i'm gonna land directly where i was aiming it's gonna roll out nice with the top spin and be right in the middle of the fairway so here we get it to land we get it to bounce we get it to roll out and we know with confidence how our our shot's going to be lined up so let's take a look now at the second shot and see how we can utilize the exact same concept so here we have our short iron specter level five let me put my guide back up so here now i'm going to select the short iron level five specter okay and again lots of things can go into this second shot but for basic basic purposes here again let me get rid of this so if we were at maximum distance we would land way up here if we were at minimum distance we'd land way back here we want to land somewhere right in the middle so it's going to be a mid distance medium distance shot here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to land and line up my target my ball guide the best that i can at the hole i know the secondary wind push is not going to let this quite stop so i want to aim back here a little bit farther because i know the wind push with being a tailwind i know the wind push is going to push my ball guide up this way it's going to make that ball really release and not stop so again, lining up straight at the hole. Again, go back to my calculator. Here I've got a 9.5 mile per hour wind. So I type in 9.5 in my wind calculator. And I'm not looking at the max distance number, which is 7.6. I'm not looking at the minimum distance number, which is 4.8. Because again, I'm right in the middle of my um, club distance. So I'm looking at that mid, mid number, which is 6.2 rings. Okay, so for the specter here, it's telling me that I need to pull 6.2 rings. So line it up, 6.2 rings. So line up my shot the best that I can. What 
what I think is going to be good and accurate. And now I'm going to make a 6.2 ring adjustment. So again, point that wind arrow directly north. You can see where my wind arrow is pointing up towards the pause button. And then I'm going to try to pull as straight as I can down the middle of my screen. You can use grid lines if you have them. And use the bottom of your screen. Do best you can with what you have available to you. So we're going to pull 6.2 rings. So there's one ring. There's two rings. There's three rings. And there's four rings. Now I don't like to use the middle of my... Um, ring to make adjustments I, I like to use the outer four rings so that's just an extra tip for you so i've got already pulled four rings now i'm gonna go back 2.2 more so there's a 1.2 so that gives us 5.2 and then there's 6.2 so i've just made a 6.2 ring adjustment with the specter 5 because that's what my app is telling me and again, if it misses, I'm just going to go back. I'm going to write it down and say, well, maybe I needed a little bit more, a little bit less for that particular shot. We'll see how this one comes in for us. We get the ultimate shot. Comes in. Super close. Super close. So maybe a little bit touch under the mid distance which is what we're going to get into on future videos is how to really dial in the percentage club that we are using to really make those adjustments accurate so there you go guys just a real quick rundown of how to adjust for wind again as we move forward in the game and as we get better and better we're going to start learning how to really dial in those shots and get our adjustments perfect but if you like this video if it helped you out please hit that subscribe button for me get notified for future videos that come out and we'll see you guys on the next one